Yana Mokford and Bonita Becker are just some of many South Africans who have dedicated their lives to fighting against rhino poaching. In their quest to save rhinos, they unwittingly became rhino owners, but they had no idea how expensive that would be. My passion started for the rhino the day that we actually found the two rhino just dumped on a neighbouring farm. We thought, oh, it's going to be very romantic having these rhinos roam around freely on the farm. But it wasn't that. It's every night driving around trying to just protect them and make sure that there's no poachers coming onto the farm. After attempting various ventures to access finance to protect the rhino, they finally decided to start brewing gin alcoholic beverage. The profits they make go straight to their rhino sanctuary. So we started with a few samples here and a few samples there, adding botanicals, making our own gins just for private use. Our friends came to visit and they loved our gins. And we actually at a point now, we're making so much gin and we are, we are able to fund our rhinos. Our rhino beetle gin actually funds our rhinos at the moment to feed them and keep them safe. We use this project mainly to sustain our rhinos for the food and the security and yes, yeah, so that one day our grandchildren will also be able to see white rhinos. According to Environmental Affairs, the protection of rhino is a real challenge that costs money and energy. The department welcomes any efforts for the protection of the species. The cost to look after a rhino every day is astronomical. So we are at the point where our gins are feeding our rhinos. Our rhinos eat about 80 kilograms of food every single day. Despite the challenges, Mockford and Becker vow to continue their activism to help save the rhino species. Yulisan Jamala, CGTN, Limpopo Province, South Africa.